Hey guys, the Terminator 360 here, and you're watching the 2020 Minifigure Awards, where I took my top 10 favorite minifigures of 2020, ranked them, and gave them a specific award in what I think they did best in. Without further ado, let's get into it. number 10 at this list we have pink zane or the official name avatar zane and we ninjago fans have been waiting for this minifigure since 2011 he has some pretty great prints all the way around and i like that since the original ninja suits didn't have back printing there is one problem with this minifigure though and that's why it's lower on the list it is the head that's Zane's movie head, it's not accurate in any way, and I don't feel either of the facial expressions fit the Zane we know and love from the show. Another thing is, this minifigure had so much hype, it was unbelievable. At number 9, we have another Ninjago figure, Hero Cole. I like the hero suits in general, but this one is definitely my favorite. I like the combination of gold and black a lot. I like the new shoulder pieces and mask pieces they used for the hero suits. And the torso print and leg print on this one is just my favorite. Cole's facial expressions are the same he usually gets. This kind of smirking one. And this angry one right there. And the print at the back is also pretty great where we just kind of have a continuation and that's a one that can be used for a lot of customs as well number eight is ahsoka's clone trooper slash free 30 second clone trooper i was choosing between whether to put this one or the regular 511st clone trooper because they have the same torso and leg printing which by the way looks pretty awesome but ultimately decided on this one because the helmet is more unique and captures Ahsoka's likeness. The It also has a pretty cool print on the back. As you can see, it's just some more tactical gear and part of the suit. The arms are custom printed from Firestar Toys. It doesn't come on the official figure, but I'd still put it here without that arm print upgrade. We also have the new Tamira Morrison head for the clones, which looks super awesome and more accurate than the angry clone head we always get. That's why this is at number 8. At number 7, we have another Star Wars minifigure, Grogu slash the child slash Baby Yoda. This is such an amazing figure. It captures Grogu's likeness perfectly with that robe and that headpiece that's just super cool. It goes all the way around. The Mandalorian Season 2 was amazing and Grogu is just an amazing character overall. My only complaint um, about this minifigure is the head is a little bit oversized, so that's why it's not a little bit higher on the list. <laughs> Number six, we have another Zane. This is probably one of the most requested minifigures of all time in any LEGO theme ever. We've been asking for it as Ninjago fans since season three, and they delivered it this year. The legs and torso print are fantastic, exactly accurate to the show. A lot of people are complaining the mask isn't accurate, but hey, it's legacy, and I think I actually like it more than the half mask and hair. But what pulls this figure down, in my opinion, is that face. I wish they would make a new human Zane face for the animation update, but it's just a simple fix. I'll probably replace it with the original, of the original human Zane face. Starting out the top five, we have Wonder Woman in her golden Wonder Woman 1984 outfit. That's the name of her movie, not the year that this figure comes from and it's just so unique and epic the leg and torso prints are amazingly detailed you can see those wings stretch out and are in a completely golden color and the head piece is specially designed to go over the wings and uh, because sometimes um, when they have wing pieces like that the head piece interferes but this time it just looks amazing 
and the face print looks very realistic. Let me just get the helmet off. You have this expression right here, and then an angrier expression on the other side. Act number four, we have Black Widow. And let me say, this is one of my favorite figures of all time and not just of 2020. The torso is incredibly detailed with the silver, black, and the belt with her logo in the middle of it. The legs are also pretty cool. The, and we got official Lego arm printing, which just looks absolutely amazing with that shoulder pad and her famous wrist launcher weapon. The back of the torso also delivers with a very, very much detail. And even though this, was, this wasn't Scarlett Johansson's original Lego head, that's the actor who plays Black Widow, um, they, the one which they're using now works a hundred times better in my opinion. You can see it has an angry expression here and then a more just neutral expression on the other side. Now we are entering the top three. medalist for 2020 minifigures is Spinjitzu Bears Kai. Now, I know he reused a lot of parts, such as Legacy 2 Kai's legs and Legacy 1 Kai's mask, but it still works pretty well. That torso print is absolutely amazing. I love it. You can see it has all that energy bursting out with the robes under it. And then you even have it continuing onto the back where it makes a giant dragon, which I just think is epic. The face is probably my favorite Kai energy face with that giant fire scar going through with the glowing yellow eyes. And plus, he has red hands, those, not the arms, red hands, which are not as common anymore. <laughs> medalist for 2020 minifigures is Digi Nia. I was contemplating whether to put Burst Kai at second and Nia at third, but ultimately decided to make it second because it has all new pieces, the Digi shoulder pads and Digi mask. The torso print just looks incredibly fantastic. I really like the light blue with the gun metal and it's even reflective, the silver and the pattern, which just looks absolutely incredible. The legs also continue that pattern with the white belt, the gun metal, and it just looks pretty amazing. Her face has the digi thing, which looks super cool, and I appreciate how they gave her her own unique mouth. And her alternate expression is probably the best Nia expression we've ever gotten. And this is the best Nia minifigure we've ever gotten, in my opinion. The back of the figure is also super, super cool. You can see it continues the, the pattern from the front and it's even reflective on the back. And they also give her the negative space, which they give for which they give to most female minifigures. Now we're going to the gold. <laughs> opinion the best minifigure we got out of 2020 was Ahsoka Tano in her Clone War Siege of Mandalore outfit. The 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 Lekus we got, the headpiece is just super awesome. With the color scheme and the special mold, it's just absolutely insane. The face is perfect because all the other Ahsoka faces had a problem. Like the first one, I didn't really like the animated look of it. The second one had a weird shade of orange and this one is perfect. We have the right shade of orange and perfect eyes because the old one's eyes were the animation style. We have that expression right there and then a much angrier one. Her torso print is super detailed with some fine lining and it's also reflective just like the Nia. The arm printing, again, is custom arm printing from Firestar Toys. They make great arm printing like that, but it would still be up here without that. And the leg printing is just super amazing and continues down from the top. Another reason why the minifigure is up here is since this was so hyped, because the Clone Wars Season 7 was one of the best things on TV I've ever 
seen and many people agree with that as the Clone Wars Season 7's final three episodes are ranked 4th, 5th and 6th best TV episodes in any show ever. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when I upload future videos. Let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to see more of this style of video. Signing off for now, see you next time.